Hi everyone, this is Maverick Paul, the Chemistry Guru. Now in this video, we want to go through a work example for a mole concept question. Now this question is involving an alcohol J and the molecular formula for alcohol J it is not known. So it is given in terms of CXHYOH. So the question gives us some information involving alcohol J with some reactions and outcomes. So we want to make use of this data to determine the value for X and Y. And of course, ultimately determining the molecular formula for alcohol J. Now this question, it is a little bit interesting because it is a bit tedious and it is not that straightforward. So some of us, if we encounter this in our tutorial questions, then we might have a bit of difficulty answering this question. So in this video, we want to spend some time to solve for the molecular formula for alcohol J. All right, let's run through the question first. Alcohol J, molecular formula is given CXHYOH is a volatile fungal metabolite whose presence when detected in air can indicate hidden fungal attack on the timbers of a house. But what is more important, of course, is when 0.10 cm cube of liquid J was dissolved in an inert solvent and an excess of sodium metal is added, you get 10.9 cm cube of gas measured at 298 Kelvin was produced. Now this is the reaction between alcohol and sodium metal to give us hydrogen gas. So later we need to make use of this information. Now I have the same volume of liquid J. I go and combust in an excess of oxygen in an enclosed vessel. The volume of gas measured at 298 K, that means the same temperature as in the previous case, was reduced by 54.4 cm cube. So later we need to figure out what do we mean by a reduction of 54.4 cm cube. Then the addition of an excess sodium hydroxide equals cause a further reduction in gas volume of 109 cm cube measured at the same temperature. Now this further reduction when we add excess sodium hydroxide, it is a little bit more straightforward because when we do combustion analysis in more concept, we know that NaOH can absorb carbon dioxide. So actually very easily we know that this 109 cm cube is related to the volume of CO2. So more on that in a while. So we want to determine the values of X and Y using all this data obviously in the molecular formula CXHYOH for this alcohol J. So these are the information that we have and what we need to do is we need to analyze this part by part. Now they give us 0.1 cm cube of liquid J. So there are two instances using the same Volume of liquid J, that means the number of mole of J used in both reactions will be exactly the same. So in the first reaction, I'm reacting this alcohol with sodium metal and I get this 10.9 cm cube of hydrogen gas at room temperature pressure. So that is the first reaction. Now ultimately what we want to make use of this first information is to determine the number of mole of J. Now the second reaction, which is with excess oxygen, and this is combustion analysis, the change in the volume will be 54.4 cm cube. The question says that it is a reduction in the volume. So I write this as a negative 54.4 cm cube. Then when I add excess sodium hydroxide, there's a further reduction in volume of 109 cm cube. So I know that this base will absorb carbon dioxide, which is acidic. So the volume of CO2 will be 109 cm cube. So there are two reactions. So we have to consider this part by part. The first reaction, it is with sodium metal. The second reaction, it is involving combustion analysis. So the first portion is here, which is actually pretty simple. What we need is, I need the balance equation involving this alcohol with sodium metal to give us the salt and hydrogen gas. So the balance equation effectively is here. What we want effectively, it is the mole ratio of hydrogen gas and the alcohol J because I have information involving the volume of hydrogen. So therefore I can work out the number of mole of hydrogen. And I want to use that to compare mole ratio to determine what is the number of mole of J. So the number of mole of H2 will be the volume of hydrogen. I have to convert this to dm cube. So therefore it will be 10.9 cm cube times 10 to the power of minus three, converting it to dm cube divided by the molar volume of a gas at room temperature pressure, which will be 24.0. So this will work out to be 4.542 times 10 to the power of minus 4. And the next thing we have to do is we have to compare mole ratio between alcohol J and the number of mole of hydrogen. 
So the number of mole of J2, the number of mole of hydrogen gas will be 1 is to 1 over 2. So the mole ratio will be here. Of course, this will work out to be 2 is to 1. So the number of mole of J will be double that the number of mole of hydrogen gas 2 times 4.542 times 10 to the power of minus 4. So this will be the value 9.083 times 10 to the power of minus 4. Alright, next let's move on to the second portion. Now the second portion involving combustion analysis, I'm using the same volume of alcohol J, and now I know the number of mole of J, 9.083 times 10 to the power of minus 4, which we have previously calculated. So this portion is more on combustion analysis. I add excess oxygen, and there will be a reaction involving alcohol with oxygen to give me carbon dioxide and water. And the question says that the change in volume of gases will be minus 54.4 cm cube. So we have to try to interpret this. Now the balance equation involving alcohol and oxygen to give me CO2 and water, it is a little bit troublesome, but what we have to do is we have to balance this equation in terms of X and Y. We know that any organic compound, if I burn this in excess oxygen, of course, if the organic compound contains just carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, if I do a combustion in excess oxygen, the products I will be getting will be carbon dioxide and water. So what I have to do is I have to balance everything in terms of X and Y. So the balance equation in principle will look something like this. This one actually takes a while, but in principle, it is actually not difficult for us to do that. I have X carbon, so I will have X carbon dioxide. I have Y plus 1 hydrogen. So on the right hand side, I need to have Y plus 1 hydrogen. So in terms of balancing, this will be Y plus 1 divided by 2 water. So the number of more of hydrogen on both sides will be Y plus 1. Then the next thing I have to balance is the oxygen. So oxygen on the right hand side, I'll have 2X oxygen. And this side, I'll have Y plus 1 over 2 oxygen. So on the right hand side, I'll have 2X plus y over 2 plus half oxygen. Then if I work out the number of mole of oxygen on the left-hand side, it has to be the same as the number of mole of oxygen on the right-hand side, correct? But there's one small little part here which we have to be mindful because this alcohol also has one oxygen. So we have to take that into consideration. And if we do that, by right, we should be able to get this coefficient involving O2, x plus y over 4 minus 1 quarter O2. So as mentioned, this balancing actually takes a little bit of time, so it makes it a little bit more complicated, but in principle, it is just an issue of balancing this equation in terms of X and Y, because I know that an alcohol should burn in excess oxygen to give me just carbon dioxide and water. So once we get this, then we can move on. Now the question says that the change in volume is minus 54.4 cm cube. so how do we interpret this? Now, when we do combustion analysis, the change in the volume of gases will just be the volume of the products minus the volume of reactants. And you must remember this uh, involving gases, so I'm only interested in gaseous products and gaseous reactants. So if I look at the balance equation, what are my gaseous products? You only be carbon dioxide because water at room temperature, it is a liquid. So the volume of the products will just be the volume of CO2 and minusing the volume of the reactants. So the reactants in this case, which of these reactants are gases? Now, remember the question already mentioned this J it is a liquid, so I don't need to include the volume of liquid. So this 0.1 cm cube of J, we actually don't need to use this for calculation. It is just to tell us that for the first reaction with sodium metal and the second reaction involving combustion because I'm using the same volume, so therefore the number of mole of J is the same. And we actually use the previous reaction, reaction number one, involving the reaction with sodium to determine the number of mole of J already. So later when we compare mole ratio, I need this value. I no longer use 0.1 cm cube of J anymore. So remember, involving the reactants, only oxygen, it is gas. So J, it is a liquid, so it is not included. So back to this formula, the change in volume, which is the volume of product minus the volume of reactant for gaseous products and gaseous reactants, it is just volume of carbon dioxide minus the volume of O2 that is taking part in the reaction. Now, 
change in volume it is given minus 54.4 volume of co2 just now we have already figured out because when sodium hydroxide is added the decrease in the volume of gas is 109 cm cube so i know that the volume of co2 is 109 and this is the unknown that we want the volume of o2 reactor so now i have an equation minus 54.4 equals to 109 minus the volume of o2 reactor i have an equation in terms of oxygen reacted so therefore i can determine that the volume of oxygen reacted will just be 109 plus 54.4 it will be 163.4 cm cube we now have the volume of carbon dioxide we also have the volume of o2 reacted so what i can do is i need to convert this to number of mole because the amount of j that is given it is in terms of number of mole then later when i compare i need to compare mole ratio i no longer compare volume ratio because volume ratio only works for gases i cannot compare volume of o2 with volume of j because o2 it is a gas j it is a liquid so volume ratio is no longer applicable what i need to use is i need to convert everything to number of mole and then i compare mole ratio so we need to do this step the number of mole of co2 which should be the volume 109 convert to dm cube so i need to times 10 to the power of minus 3 i divide this by molar volume of a gas at room temperature and pressure 24.0 so this will work out to be 4.542 times 10 to the power of minus 3 and we can do a similar calculation i can determine the number of mole of o2 reacted will be 163.4 times 10 to the power of minus 3 divided by 24 which will give us 6.808 times 10 to the power of minus 3. all right finally we have the number of moles of j of oxygen reacted and of carbon dioxide so finally we can compare mole ratio with the equation in terms of x and y and finally we can solve for x and we can solve for y now we have two rows here involving mole ratio but the first ratio it is in terms of the balance equation in terms of x and y because in this equation the coefficient for j is 1 so this will be 1 the coefficient for o2 reactant will be x plus y over 4 minus 1 over 4 so this coefficient will be here and the coefficient for co2 is x so this x will be here we don't really need water because we don't have information involving water so we can ignore that then based on what we have calculated previously the number of mole of j will be 9.083 times 10 to the power of minus 4 remember we get this from the first reaction involving reaction with sodium metal then this is the number of mole of o2 6.808 times 10 to the power of minus 3 this is the number of mole of co2 4.542 times 10 to the power of minus 3 both these values we get it from combustion analysis so finally we can compare mole ratio I can compare the first thing the number of mole of carbon dioxide to number of mole of j which is x divided by 1 which is this value divided by this value so the first comparison would be here comparing co2 number of mole and number of mole of j this will be equals to x divided by 1 equals to this 4.542 times 10 to the power of minus 3 divided by 9.083 times 10 to the power of minus 4 I'll get this value if we round this off to the nearest whole number or nearest integer i'll get this number five so therefore x is equals to five and finally if i want to solve for y i can compare mole ratio of o2 to j this is the coefficient x plus y over 4 minus 1 over 4 divided by 1 equals to this value divided by this value so i'm comparing these two terms here so the calculation is here number of mole of o2 to number of mole of j is x plus y over 4 minus 1 over 4 divided by 1 equals to 6.808 times 10 to the power of minus 3 divided by 9.083 times 10 to the power of minus 4 if you simplify this this will be roughly 7.495 so i know the value of x we have already determined x is equals to 5 so i can just substitute x equals to 5 here so i get this expression 5 plus y over 4 minus 1 over 4 equals to 7.495 i will get y equals to 11. all right so that was the discussion involving this more concept questions to solve for the molecular formula for alcohol j 
Now, actually, this is a pretty tedious question. And the second portion involving combustion analysis, it is a little bit unusual because usually we do combustion analysis involving hydrocarbon CXHY, but now they give us combustion analysis involving alcohol CXHY OH. And we actually have to balance the equation ourselves. So it is because of that portion that maybe makes us a little bit confused or make it harder for us to solve for the molecular formula for alcohol J. At least after this discussion, I hope that students will find this question manageable. And remember, in answering more concept questions, we have to be very clear in terms of the procedure. And based on the procedure, we want to write out the balance equation that is going on. And from there, we systematically try to solve for the unknown that is given inside this question. Now, if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.